Well, the point of the cruise scanner is that it can reproduce artwork better than any other process. It can give us the highest resolution, the highest fidelity. It gives you even lighting over the entire surface. We can also vary the light so that we can show texture. It is state of the art. Once it comes in, we want to handle the work as carefully as possible. We don't want to get any wools on the work, so we wear cotton gloves. We want to handle it in such a way that the work is jeopardized in any way. We guarantee that the work, when it leaves here, will be in exactly the same condition it was when it comes in. Once we have it prepared, we take it into the scanner room, lay it on the bed. The color swatches that I put down are standards that are universal throughout the world. If I can match the color control patch, the image is going to match. The cruise scanner doesn't sense how high an object is. We have to measure the object to make sure that our height is just right and everything is correct. We measure each item every time and we put those numbers in the computer and that determines how high the lights will go, the lens and so forth. We determine the best lighting situation and then we calculate where we're going to focus so that we can ensure that the things that we want in focus are in focus. We can angle the light so that we cast a shadow to one side and a highlight to the other, and that way it shows the texture. The bed actually moves under the lens, and therefore we can scan the most delicate kinds of material. After we have the digital file, then we do the additional color correction, do any sort of retouching that is necessary. We have the best color corrected monitors you can possibly get. You want that quality, that texture, the feel of the brush stroke. The cruise scanner is phenomenal. Once we get a color proof correct, then it's ready for printing. The inkjet is literally spraying pigment, and it's the same pigment that we use to paint with very, very fine particles onto the paper or onto the canvas. We would take the canvas and we put it face down after it has dried sufficiently. We then stretch it just as we stretch traditional paintings. We simply fold the canvas around the stretcher bar and we staple it generally on the back. We can get it so close that you have to stand there and try to figure out which one is the original. If you look through a lot of art books, you really can't get a sense of what the surface is like. A cruise scanner put an end to trying to reproduce it any other way.